meaningful participation is not just the numbers to say that we had this many women we had this many people from this community but allowing them to tell their own story allowing them to describe their own issues and to also prescribe their own solutions there is an intricate relationship in between women's rights women's well-being and biodiversity conservation From our perspective as Indigenous peoples, the biodiversity crisis is very serious. And what we've observed in our communities is that there are many, many different drivers, but climate especially is a really um, important driver. There are some array of scientific studies and global assessments that have come out that have shown that Indigenous peoples are really good stewards of biodiversity. So when Indigenous peoples have tenure, security over their territories, they are better able to take care of it. We have adopted something with the indigenous communities and now we say nothing for me without me. It's the same battle we are in when we talk about poverty, when we talk about food insecurity, biodiversity loss and uh, even health issues. It's the same battle. The inclusion of women and girls to biodiversity decision-making, biodiversity action uh, is relevant and is key because this collective holds a particular knowledge and a particular relationship with nature. What we need now is action. At the end of the day, we need to make it one conversation. All the sectors will need to sit together and agree then we are going to own um, the solution, we are also going to own the action.